Hello all, welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Vasant. I hope you all doing well. Uh, as you already know, there's a video series where I'm explaining about the JavaScript custom implementations, where we already seen how to implement a very important interview concept called Array.concat. So in this video, I'll be mainly explaining uh, another very important custom implementation method that is Array.flat. Okay. Uh, with my experience of reading the interviewer feedback and me giving interviews at so many companies this has become one of the very common question across all the top companies you apply for any tier one companies what we call mang netflix i haven't read this question anywhere except that all the other companies microsoft apple amazon um, google uh, all these companies will be i have asked this question in the past i can't guarantee they will ask this in the future or not but definitely knowing this custom implementation will help you to write one or the other custom implementation which they may ask you in the interview okay so before uh, i uh, starting with uh, this particular implementation in case if you have not seen my previous three videos in this series where i've explained how this series is going to be how uh, different uh, javascript methods get access to the built-in uh, functions so please watch those videos and come to this video otherwise it will be uh, quite difficult for you to go along because i assume certain things are known to you uh, whenever i'm explaining okay without wasting further time now let's get started so this is an article that i've recently uh, written recently where i have explained how to flatten a given array okay in javascript and this has been a uh, that time i tagged microsoft interview question because i had read only in the microsoft uh, uh, interview feedback but later when i uh, read different companies feedback this has been quite common across all the uh, top companies and many startups and other companies are also asking this so i've clearly explained how to do uh, how to um, flatten the array but i haven't written a custom implementation for this i just wrote it like a dsl go question okay so please read this so uh, to just to understand the logic okay now i'll go step by step explanation how to create array dot flat okay so coming to here array dot prototype dot flat is what we will be custom implementing in this video so what does flat method does the flat the flat method creates a new array with all subarray elements concatenated in into it recursively up to the specified depth okay so coming to this example you can notice so we have 0 1 2 it's an array and inside an array we have an another array so it's kind of a nested array we can tell correct so in the nested array what we are doing we are trying to array dot flat and to this function no parameter is passed okay it has been empty so whenever you run you have already ran this as you can see here 0 1 2 3 4 was an array now it became without an array so it became one array 0 1 2 3 4 in the second example they are passing one one here refers to the depth like let's say uh, as you know, see here it is a three level depth here correct three uh, arrays and inside that we have a three comma four one of the depth will be removed so this depth will be removed okay so you have array inside an array and three comma four okay so what if you have to eliminate all the uh, arrays so no matter how many levels are there inside you have to eliminate everything then the best way is passing infinity okay infinity is a keyword in javascript for those of you who don't know which specifies for the maximum number that particular compiler can contribute or can hold okay so if i run you see 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 no matter how depth the array is it will be able to uh, flatten it uh, that particular array so basically i'll be writing an implementation for this infinity I expect you to write a new implementation for flat with a specific depth like you let's say you pass two depth three two level depth three level depth in case many of you are not able to write that uh, specific level uh, uh, flattening please do mention that in comment section i'll definitely uh, try to make a video or write an article and link that in the description okay now uh, but nothing more here uh, flat uh, and uh, the depth depth they have explained by default the depth points to one okay then return value what are the alternatives to the array dot flat method they have explained here okay now you know what array dot flat method does so you know the syntax and what is the property that it is taking now we shall first write since it is not that easy we have to write a recursive solution first let us try to write a just uh, like consider like a dsl go problem let's try to write a function which will flatten the given array then let us try to embed that into a custom implementation okay so uh, i have come prepared for this video unlike my last video of concat where i just came like that no this video i have come prepared the reason being this has a recursion there's a chance that where i may make a mistake and i don't want to misguide you guys also so i've come prepared for this video 
okay and before i start coding in case you if you are someone who is looking uh, who is preparing for a javascript driven interviews like react react js react native or angular node etc i've created a beautiful series with 20 plus videos in my another playlist where i've explained all the most common interview questions and how to solve them okay so please do watch that series it will be definitely helpful for you in, in facing the upcoming interviews okay then feel free to continue with this video okay now array dot flat like i said first let us try to write a flat uh, method itself which will take nested array as an input and it will uh, make it into a straight array with, without any nesting okay function uh, flatten array okay it takes array as an input okay then what we do for um for so what we are doing here is we'll iterate till the length of the array okay then just so that you can come along with me i will do this i mean working the flatten array method okay and i'll pass the same input as that of this okay hmm. same input as that of the um, that particular example i'm passing here okay so what we'll be doing here is in the input in the array whenever we are traversing okay if it is not an array like zero is not an array it is just a value in that case push it to the output value and one is also not an array two is also not an array so push it to the output if it is an array like 3 comma 4 is an array correct so so array index is an array like array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 array of 3 is array of 3 an array in this case yes if array of an index is an array then we cannot directly copy the values because we don't know the length of it so in that case what we'll do we'll recursively invoke the same function it's a flat an array with 3 comma 4 as an array okay so let's say we have um, uh, 3 comma 4 then we had another array inside with this like 5 comma 6 which is next next nested array correct so right now output will look like this so 1 2 3 is already 1 0 1 2 is already pushed into the array correct don't worry if you are not getting after read the code also i'll once again explain but i'm just trying to uh, explain my approach before write the write the code so 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 is a part of the array okay output next uh, you will see like array dot 0 1 2 3 array of third index is an array correct so we check that in that case we will pass this array to the flatten array same method recursively then 3 comma 4 is not an array so we will push 3 comma 4 okay and then we will end, we will get to know that 5 comma 6 is an array which is inside the array correct then we invoke the same function flatten array by passing 5 and 6 okay now array points to just 5 and 6 so it will iterate the array and it will put 5 comma 6 okay and then since it's a recursion call the stack is popped off if there are no more arrays it is popped off it will come out then it will come out of this array also so if there are any elements outside this 5 comma 6 let's say here you have 7 now 7 is added into my array okay this is what my approach so now i'll tell how do i write this code so first thing as i said first i need to check whether the array index is an array correct for that we have an uh, array prototype method that is array dot is array of uh, array of i correct so this index is an array or not i'm checking if it is not an array okay then what i would do i have created uh, output okay const output then i'll push the value into the output output dot push array of i okay in case if it is an array then what i'll do is i'll call the flatten array method with array of i same thing whatever i have explained i've tried doing here okay once this entire thing is uh, execution is done then uh, finally you can return the output or since it's a global variable the function itself can access this also let me try running this and i'll explain the entire block once again okay so as you can see here we had two level nesting here and one element outside the nesting also these elements also outside the nesting output is it is a unnested or in a flattened array the nested array become a flattened way okay i'll explain once again what i'm doing quickly so i'm calling the flatten array method passing the nested array okay let me do a dry run so for i is equal to 0 i less than array dot length i plus plus so 0 array of is array of 0 no 
So what I'm doing, I'm pushing zero into my output array. Same happens for zero, one, two. Next, I encounter this series, this index of the array, which is an array. So array dot is array true. Then what I'll do, flatten array. I'm calling this entire block. Okay. Next, in this case, the array whatever we are pointing is this three, four, five, comma six. Okay. So it it started with three. Three is not an array. Log uh, pushed into flat uh, output. Four is not an array. Pushed into output. Now five comma six is again an array. Then you are calling the flatten array method again by passing five comma six. So this condition becomes true. Then you are pushing the value again five comma six. Okay. Once five comma six is done, we no longer need a recursion. So we are done with all the nesting. So as you know, stack is popped out. Finally, we are back outside. And now next we encounter seven that is pushed into the array. Okay. So this is about just implementing the flatten array method. So this is the crux of the logic. So adding into custom implementation, definitely I think you already know. Correct. So what I do is array dot prototype dot my flat. Okay. Function. This is an anonymous function. If you're not sure what is an anonymous function, feel free to check out my video where I have explained this in very much in detail. I'll try to add that on the description. Okay. So then return output. Okay. So now flatten array. I'm invoking from inside. Okay. So where I'll pass this as a reference. Okay. Uh, if I go here and see array dot flat. Correct. So the same way I need to do. Okay. So flatten array, but basically I've made it an inner function. In, actually, you can keep this outside also and trigger. I've just made it an inner function and I'm trying to invoke this from this. I'll, I'll again tell what is this, etc. in case if you're not watched my previous video. Okay. So what I will be doing now is uh, const input array is equals to this. Okay. Const input array now log what i'm logging is input array okay dot my flat that's it okay now input array dot my flat we are doing when uh, by default as you know our for logic it works for an infinity okay um, by default i'm considering infinity and trying to sort everything like i mentioned it is just a small homework for you try to write a function uh, that takes a, that navigates only to a particular level and flattens it okay if you if you are able to write the code i'll be very happy please do mention that in the comment section okay um, so now my flat you are triggering okay so here what you are doing is here this points to the array with which you triggered this my flat so in this case the array will be this Okay, I've, I've also explained this in my previous video. Whenever you are invoking a prototype method, always this refers to the uh, array or the programming constraint with which you trigger the prototype method. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm passing this array into this, the flatten array. Okay, rest the explanation remains same. Once the value is calculated, okay, so what we are doing here is we, we are calling this and values computed. Okay, uh, this is returning the output. Okay. What I can do is this output I can take inside. Okay. Then what also what I can do is uh, flatten the array. I can do this return flatten array. Okay. I invoke the flatten array by passing this as the array. Okay. Then this will compute, it will flatten the array. Correct. And it will return the output, whatever the above one. Okay, then I am also returning that uh, whatever the output was returned. I can break it into two level if you want, like um, const uh, return value, okay, is equals to flatten array. Then I can return the return value, okay, return value. This also I can do two step process. So inside the my my flat method, I actually have a function which is responsible for flattening the array with a recursive approach correct and then what i'm doing i'm trying to uh, calculate that value by invoking that function inside my um, prototype function then finally i'm returning the value okay so i think this should work if not let us try to debug and fix it quickly it worked okay so this is my solution about how to flatten the array uh, i think you enjoyed the video if you liked my video please do like it on my youtube channel and uh, share the videos with your friends as it is very important like i said this has been asked in multiple companies like apple uh, google 
Amazon, um, I don't know Netflix, but uh, all the other top companies it has been asked. So this is very important and very simple actually. If you try to get a gauge of this, you'll be able to write a lot of recursive programs on your own. Okay. In fact, this was asked in my current company also the, in the interview and I had solved the problem. So due to which I, I got a high chance of clearing my first round. Um, so please do uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and common geeks. And uh, as I said, my medium blogs, I've written a lot of beautiful articles about these programming uh, things. Please do uh, follow me on LinkedIn, uh, follow me on medium and uh, share those articles also with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in next video.